What's up guys? This is a reading for the sign of Capricorn. My name is Ashley. I have medium and clairvoyant abilities and I use my abilities to help you live your best life. Again, this is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. That means if you do not resonate with this reading, cool if you do, cool. Either way, if you would like a more private, intimate, more tailored reading for your situation, please feel free. It is not free, but feel free to click the link in my description. I am more than happy to help you on your path to more light and more life. Okay, again, this reading is for a Capricorn who is feeling some kind of way. This Capricorn could be feeling some sort of sorrow because of a sacrifice that needs to be made in his or her life. I want to say his for some reason, but it could be your her. Maybe I want to say his because my son is a Capricorn. One of my best friends is a Capricorn. But anyway... You have to make a sacrifice and you're feeling sorrowful. It's making you feel, um, you know, sorrow. But know that there is light at the end of the tunnel because the last card you got was the sun card. So whatever it is, sacrifice that you have to make, it is pertinent for you to manifest something major in your life that you're very passionate about. The princess of wands, that is passion, 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 the purest form of passion. And the Magus is the manifestation of your dream. The Magus takes inventory of the things he or she has and uses it to manifest the thing he or she doesn't have. So you're very passionate about something that you would like to manifest in the world. Keep that passion and use that passion and energy to get you to the light at the end of the tunnel because the sun is manifestation of the desires the sun is joy the sun is energy vitality the sun is at a place where you're content with your life at a place where you've manifested the desires of your heart and you feel good you feel great you feel awesome about it so capricorn get over this sorrowful period get over it recharge Go within, do whatever it is that you need to do to get over this period of sorrow. They say, um, Beyonce said one time she gives herself 24 hours to cry about something. Or, you know, I do the same thing. I could, you know, sometimes I might go three days. I can do better. But whatever period of time you need, you need to get over this, um, to get over this sorrowful feeling that you have. Take that time, go within, recharge. Know that the sacrifice is needed for you to make a good life for yourself. For you to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Let's see if we can get a um, spirit. Do you have an oracle card to go with this reading for Capricorns who may be making a sacrifice? Okay, you have confidence as your key to success. I love pulling this card because you know it reminds me of one of my friends. But confidence is your key to success. So remain confident. You know, keep the faith. Keep the faith. This says be bold and make the first move. Keep the faith and know that, keep the faith and confidence knowing that everything is working out for you good and that this period of sorrow would not last for long because there was definitely light at the end of the tunnel for you. You got the Magus working in your favor. You got passion. The Magus takes things, sorts things, and create the life that he wants, even with the things he has and does not have. He sorts what he has and manifests the things that he does not have. And um, the Princess of Wands is all the passion and desire and, and lust and fulfillment. You know, it's all in one. It's all of your energy. Put all your energy into manifesting the desires of your heart, whatever that is. And know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that you actually meet your goal at the end of the tunnel. I really hope this helps and it leads you to more light and more life and more clarity and whatever it is you need on your journey. Thank you. Peace.